So part of me had considered making a sixth exhibition of stupid people. Instead, though, we're going to take one subject, talk about it, and save the other for tomorrow. I could perhaps make a longer video, but at this point I can't be bothered. And the first subject is in and of itself worthy of its own video, because honestly, the lady in question who does something she should never do in a video I cannot show you needs locking up. I have very strict rules. Rules I have obeyed for decades. When it comes to animals, I have very, very strict rules. One must never harm an animal, ever. Hypocritical because there is the odd moment where I do eat meat. Odd moment, I know, but still hypocritical, I'm well aware of that. When it comes to pets, when it comes to animals that trust us, I don't like it when somebody goes out of their way to harm one of those animals. Generally speaking, there are settings, context, none of which validate the desire, need, want, and action where you implement some kind of physical harm upon an animal. To talk about this best, we go to an isolated incident in Fairfax, Los Angeles, where understandably a number of animal lovers on Twitter, in fact, all people on Twitter essentially, are quite cross because a dog boutique employee was caught on video during a live stream which was being hosted by Twitch user Royce Thomas, where a lady walked up to a dog, a rather energetic dog, I'll agree, grabbed the dog by the dog's throat, lifted the dog off the ground, and launched that dog like she was a cannon and the dog was a ball. The video I'm not going to show you shows the lady doing this. I will link the article down below. The video is in the article itself. I'm also going to link Royce Thomas's Twitch if I can find it. Witnesses in the video quite clearly say that the dog landed on the dog's head and hit the pavement. The dog in the video was, for the most part, upside down mid-flight, so it is likely the dog was quite badly hurt. Dogs are simple creatures for the most part, but they are loyal when taught, when energy is spent showing them how they should behave. If one does not take the time to do that, a rambunctious dog is always going to be rambunctious until that dog finally realizes they're alone, something which I do not support. I have heard tales from one former patron of dogs and cats simply being dropped off at a forest near where they live. And to me, that makes me sad. Because at that moment, I want the dog and or cat to switch places with the person who had the audacity to take an animal into their home only to betray them at the very first opportunity. I want them to feel the loneliness and desperation that the animal they have betrayed feels. Oh, and the betrayal, that too. Creatures can understand that, you know that, right? The same applies to anyone that harms any animal like this. When you launch a dog, the same should be done to you. Quite frankly, you are absolutely sickening. On the website for this particular store, rather amusingly, it's called LA's first humane pet shop. Press X to doubt. While you may like to market yourself as that, you were stupid enough to employ someone that at the very first opportunity would discipline a dog by treating them like a shot put. The shop is called Barks and Bitches, and they did release a statement following the incident, where they said there was an inexcusable incident in the shop tonight. We will not tolerate this or any actions that put our rescues in harm's way. The appropriate actions are being taken. This is not what we stand for. After the dog was launched by Lady Trebuchet, the dog was seen hiding under a table, shaking, as the employee decided that maybe this would be a good time to run to the back of the store and hide. How about instead you just hand over your ID and walk away? Or hand your ID over, call the police, say what you did, and await to be arrested. Granted, I'm not entirely sure LA has the best animal rights protection laws, but you did just commit animal abuse. Normally there are rules for that. Royce Thomas indicated during the live stream in question that the employee was never seen again and that the manager then made it a point to hold that particular puppy 
in an attempt to calm the dog down and to calm the stunned customers down. It is the hope of us normal people who don't like abusers that this person never gets to work with animals ever again. You cannot trust somebody that would do that not to do it again. You should be blackballed from ever owning an animal. As a point I just think I should raise, I am regularly surrounded by my sister's five dogs. My three sisters have five dogs. They surround me because they trust me. They like to spend time around me. When I record, I usher them out of the room. Otherwise, they're anywhere they want to be. As long as they don't make a mess, they're fine. If they make a mess, I clean the mess up and I punish them by moving them to an area of the house where they are not near me. That to them is a bigger punishment than thumping them, which I would never do. There is never a good reason for somebody who is biologically, physically superior when it comes to brute strength, that is especially. In the context of this story, we can certainly question the intelligence of the lady later, but there is never a good reason to take a very young doggy, a puppy at best, and essentially give it a very long choke slam across the store into more dogs. This isn't Lucha Libre, the other dogs don't cushion the fall. It wasn't as if dogs could be prepared for it and they don't always land on their feet. Not that I'm trying to make excuses, quite frankly you should move all the dogs and you should take the dog's place mid-flight. Royce Thomas has indicated also that a police report hasn't been filed by her, but other people in the store, and some of her own followers, have contacted the police, and as a minor update, the dog has been taken to the vet for a checkup. I hope the dog is a-okay, and that the dog doesn't suffer any undue mental scarring from that incident. As to forget here, this is a humane pet shop, with rescue animals. As an additional update, the employee in question who has not been named, sadly, no longer works for Barks and Bitches. Hey, this is Shannon. Um, I'm the owner of Bark and Bitches, and there was a horrific incident, uh, intolerable incident that happened at the shop this evening. Um, first, I want to thank everybody who's reached out who's emailed us with their concerns um, because it's definitely a big concern of mine also. Just want to let you know that we've been in business for almost 14 years and um, this is a first. Uh, I just want you to be rest assured that um, all actions will be taken to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Uh, I do want you to know that the employee is uh, no longer with us and um, that the dog is actually doing fine and did go to the vet. What a shame. Do you have P45s in America? To be honest, I wish you nothing but misery to the point where all you get in life is a trailer, a really run down one no less, and living off and eating Bonio and Chum. Because I like the odd bit of politics, I thought I'd quickly talk about there being currently a bill passing through your Senate to make animal cruelty a federal felony, which passed unanimously. Thank the Lord. Things like that are happening. It's just a shame that this doesn't come into effect and can't be backdated to include the shrew who catapulted a dog, and many others for that matter. 